I always knew I was a traveller, that's, that's my identity. But I suppose the first time that I was called a knacker would be the time that I suppose I realised that I was different to everybody else and I didn't know what the word meant and I had to go back and ask my father and I seen my father crying and that was the first time I seen him crying. The girls in it that was in my class, they weren't very nice, so they weren't, and I was bullied. They were calling stuff like knacker and saying, oh, you can grow spuds under your nails and stuff like that. Whereas there was often a day that I got up that my mother wouldn't make sure that I was clean and had a clean uniform, just like every other Irish mother in the world. But the word knacker has to be the most disgusting word to use against any person, regardless of what community you come from. The word knacker, just it's... It, it, it encompasses everything that's wrong within society. I changed schools when I was very small and I was put automatically into a traveller resource class without ever being tested. And one of my earliest memories was of my mother kind of dragging us behind her and saying to the principal, I send my children to be educated, not to comb teachers' hair or not to clean up. I'm not denying the fact that we were a little bit loud and we were a little bit wild, if you like, but girls that were not from the traveller community hung around with us and when we went into the class, they were put up the front and we were put down the bottom. They would never ever say it, it was because of who you are, but I know in my heart it was because of who we were and I did get angry. You're a little bit cagey about telling them initially you're from the traveller community and let them discover that themselves. The preconception, I guess, around travellers is that uh, they're dirty, they'll rob you. So I tend, to, I tend to let people get to know me before I'd, um, I'd say where I'm from, or, 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 or before I tell them I'm from the, the travel community. If a traveller next door did something, well, the whole community then is blamed, and the whole community are looked upon to sort out that problem. Outside of that, like if it was somebody else, they don't have to answer for their neighbour, what their neighbour has done, whereas you feel like because you're a traveller, you have to answer for every traveller. There is a high unemployment rate within the travelling community, but when you grow up thinking that, well, what's the point of me doing a degree when I'm not going to get hired? What's the point of me learning Irish when I'm not going to become a guard? These are the things that were said to me. These are not just things that I'm picking out of the air, and these are not just things that I'm making up. These are things that were said to me during my secondary years in school. When people look at, look at me as different, like, you know, I question the state, really, because I'm saying, like, if, if everybody's looking at at me as being a different person. Why isn't the state giving me my recognition as, as an ethnic group? We have our own identity, we have our own culture, uh, we have our own music, our own language. We have a, a sense of community, a sense of belonging. It makes you very proud to be who you are. We share an Irish history, but we have our own unique history as a nomadic people, a people that travelled Ireland up until very recently, and some of our people still do, and would love to still do. We, we'll always want to be able to move, to be free. It's the honesty of it, knowing who you are, and grabbing that and saying, you know what, this is who I am. I know who you are. So yeah, obviously there is people out there who will prejudge, and the advice I'd give is, challenge that by showing them that you're not, the, you're not that image they have in your head. You're a traveller, but <laughs> this is me as well. I'm also a person. And I, if you're a good person, that, that's fair enough. You sh show that side to them and say, listen, I'm a traveller, but I'm a good person. The way I look at it, if I change only one person's mind in my lifetime, then I've done enough. Because that one person will then move on and it'll become like a wave. My hopes for the future are that my people will be recognised as an ethnic minority group and that our young people particularly will be able to walk really tall with a sense of who they are, knowing that they're valued within Ireland and knowing that if they participate in Irish society that they'll have the same opportunities as any other Irish child. I hope for the traveller community to believe that they can, they can, they can be whatever they want. Um, not necessarily out of grasp once you work for it. Even though you feel that you might be alone and that you're fighting a rising tide against this ra racism and discrimination, never give up, never stop doing what you want to do, and then eventually you'll achieve your dreams. Everybody in life can be what they want to be. I'd, I'd love for the travel community to realise that and, and to reach the potential.